On May 30th, 2018, the world was shocked when it heard about the killing of independent Chicago reporter Zachary Stoner, aka Zach TV. Though the facts remained sketchy, there were hundreds of people who had just seen him and a group of his friends leave a popular bar, Refuge, when multiple gunshots were heard. Police never made any major announcements in the days after the murder. However, documents later revealed that in 2019, prosecutors declined to press charges and police were forced to release the suspects which they had found, two of which have since been killed. At 1.29 a.m., two blocks from the bar, a minivan sped up to Zach, guns out his windows. Bullets riddled his SUV as he was pulling away. One ripped through his shoulder. Fatally, one struck him behind his ear. When Zach crashed his SUV into a street lamp, two of his friends, one with a graze wound, fled the scene. They later said they left Zach alone, fearing that the ops would come back and shoot again. At 1.35 a.m., police arrived to find Zach TV alone, slumped in his seat. One officer checked his pulse. He was still alive. Another officer found Stoner's 40 caliber pistol at his feet. It was loaded, but he never fired a shot. Documents also revealed that one of his friends drew a gun and returned fire through the windshield during the drive back. The Cook County State's Attorney's Office cited the possibility that the two sides of the shooting on May 30, 2018 were mutual combatants. Mutual combatants is a disputed legal concept that's a throwback to duels between nobles and prearranged gunfights in the Wild West. Major newspaper USA Today did a full article on Zach TV and obtained documents related to his case. Their theory as to why Zach TV was targeted had to do with the Goontown Perry Avenue War. Zach didn't belong to a gang, but was raised in Goontown. Sadly, in America, young black men are often wrongly assumed by gangs and police to be in the gang that's on their block. So other gangs may have viewed Stoner as a Goontown associate, a famous one. Goontown and Perry Avenue are both neighborhoods located on the south side of Chicago. Police alleged that there was a long-standing gang beef between the two hoods. Police also alleged that the bar Zach TV attended that night included a rap battle between the two hoods, where things one witness reportedly said got heated. The records obtained by USA Today black out the passengers' names. Later, his friend, rapper Thomas T. Streets Davis, said on social media that he was one of the passengers. And the same video shows him at the bar near the scene Stoner was shot. He and the other passenger have since passed. In 2023, police consider Zachary Stoner's case clear. That's a win, they say, considering in Chicago, 70% of murders go unclear. Cases are clear when police deem them solved, though like this case, it doesn't always equate to formal charges or prosecutions. To this day, rappers and journalists in Chicago and worldwide remember the legacy of Zach TV. His first person news style launched a whole genre of hip hop bloggers, and his death took something away from the culture.